I was recently inspired to go full Coco for Coco Puffs on Kendometrix thanks to this advancement in human potential right here. This is Jeff. Jeff picks a spicy Kendometrix and consistently hits it every single day for an entire year. And this is not even the first year. Seeing this on my feed every single day has inspired me to do something uh, pretty much totally different, but basically there are a whole bunch of classic juicer magooser kendama tricks that I've either never even tried, never quite managed to hit, or that I've just pretended didn't even exist. Until now. So I am challenging myself to slap at least one brand new boy scout badge of banger onto my unlock sash every single day for the next week, and I'm going to give myself a bonus point for every add-on trick that I can as the name implies, add on after I land a new trick just to see how hard that actually is. Let's go. So the first one that got this iconic classic trick idea ball rolling was the lunar tray flip. This one is a combo of the lunar flip and the barrel roll and is really a trick of trial and error finding that sweet spot to flip at. Coop from the Sweets short tutorial for this trick was in my brain as I was trying to figure this out. Flip it at an angle. Think of the big cup as a clock. Flip it at 2 o'clock, 45 degree angle. And eventually, if you play with the ratio of flip to spin, it'll just click. Ooh. Oh, almost hit the add-on too. I did miss the first add-on though, Tree but we've flip. got a lot more to unlock. While we've honed our sixth sense into lunar landing, it only makes sense to pull out the inward lunar tray as well. So the next day, that's what I went for. And listen, there were some close calls. Cups were clapping. I was really feeling this trick now. And then after numerous clean and perfectly placed attempts, one of my pull-up inward lunars almost got away, but I saved it in this weird pinchy finger grip. And I'll give you three seconds to guess what happens next. Yes, you're right, the weird pinchy finger grip is the one that executes the inward lunar tray perfectly. Pretty funny unlock, got the spike, but missed that add-on again. Next day, this trick came together quick with a slick lick to improve that stick. Twas bit of a guilt trip to have never hit the stilt flip, but in only about two minutes. I got really close, and in about two minutes and... 10 seconds, I managed to flip that stilt. Took a huge risk with the no look spike, not at all to redeem my past tragedies, and stuck that too, and... Missed the UFO add-on, but we'll get one eventually. Upon dawn, I took a quick work break to try to hit a trick that in my brain I made up for myself, but I'm sure has been done many times before, but to not spoil the trick, let me start with a successful attempt. This of course is a little behind the back can catch extravaganza that I thought felt and looked pretty cool to execute, but integrating the human body in different catches like this can work in tons of different ways. Tama catches, knee bounces, and other stuff can create some neat tricks that stray outside of the norm. So you should have some fun metaphorically cooking in your kendama kitchen and see what you can come up with. And so far this one trick per day challenge has been incredible. It, it gives you a manageable little goal and forces you to try new things that boost your all around skill level and it really made Kendama more fun for me and I can't recommend this concept enough to anyone who wants to get better at really anything. But next up here's another one that I just have no recollection of ever even trying before and no excuse for it. It is the double inward whirlwind and this one was so special that I recruited a highly skilled film crew to capture this moment for you. Ah, so itchy. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't your trick. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in. That's character. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm in my own head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me distract you. Wipe a must not. Oh, that was close. Just oh. oh. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. Now you gotta pick an add-on. Pick an add-on. Penguin. <laughs> uh, Penguin Oh, that's the first add-on we've hit this time. That's good. Good, good, good. Ow! <laughs> Riding my self-inflicted wave of success, now we get into some serious bangers. This next day featured one of the longer grinds, so I'll put up the real-time clock and you can see how long it took. 
I'm chasing the downward whirlwind here, which has two tough parts. The first is tracking the hole, and the second is pulling off the upside down Ken flip. Practicing that downward earth turn on its own first does make this a bit easier, and I found that a simple finger roll to twist the downward Ken flip was easier than trying to do a full hand grip on the Ken as I would regularly. And I feel like I was honestly lucky to snag this one as quick as I did in that 20th minute, but that's where my luck ended. Oh, crispy. Oh, no chance at the add-on. Oh, the coolest trick, the worst add-on attempt. It's fitting. Now I must confess a dark truth to you, I totally missed today, so we've got to catch up. Right after that down whirl, I picked another tougher trick that I really wanted, and I realize now that it was probably top of brain since I'd been seeing Jeff do it literally every single day. Anyways, I love juggles, but I've never landed a nice juggle to a graceful bird stall. It adds a whole new dimension to the juggle since you can't just end with a harsh sloppy spike. You've got to finish gracefully and have control and intention to pull off the stall. Now. Take a look at my knees and how they aren't bending at all and remind yourself not to do that. Not only for the cushioned landing, but bending your knees and stretching out the motion of the trick also stretches out the amount of time that you have to land the bird, which gives you a much better chance of finding and tracking that stall point. Again, I didn't really do that, but still managed to land the juggle to bird a super exciting unlock. Oh. And no miss spike. Oh. This next day is the 7th and I went for another little pair, a simple and straightforward stall point catch thing that I just never had any desire to hit until now. It is first the inward axe. One of the keys here is finding a Ken shape that feels like it locks into a stall point because depending on the shape it could make this trick way easier or harder for you so just try it manually before you try to go for the trick. And eventually I also found that a straighter pull up made this easier than like an angled pull up which is a quick tip and look at this my first inward axe and we snuck in an add on what is that like two bonus points now? Add on. And ready here I'll show you the entire journey to the regular axe no cuts, raw footage. It was like what, the third attempt? Once you understand the techniques, the tricks just hit themselves, just like you shouldn't, but you should go play some kendama or do something you think is cool today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. Goodbye.